Hey, what's up, everybody? This is your boy, Montre. I'm just want to do a quick video on um, why God allows bad things to happen to people. Okay, so... First, I just want to kind of give you just once a real quick overview again of what I believe. And I don't believe, I, while I believe in a God force, I don't believe in an anthropomorphic God like most people do. That being like um, that God has these personal thoughts or personal uh, intentions for people. I believe God is more like a force like love or a force like hate. These are forces that you can either use or lose, whether you want to use it or not. Uh, it can work for you or it, it, it might not work for you, depending on how you use it. Um, I believe it's merely a force of energy that ignites us or hinders us. So that being God and the devil, these are just merely forces in the universe that we can utilize, tools that we can utilize for our well-being or for our destruction creative energy um i don't believe that this god energy controls us in a way as in tells us what to do more so i believe that we still have to consciously make decisions for ourselves with that being said in the news recently uh we've we find out that these girls uh that were kidnapped for 10 years finally found themselves free and so this is just my question to a lot of people you know, um, for those that believe in a an anthropomorphic God as a, uh, a being, not a force, but they believe that God is a being. Why do you think that God allows these things to happen to people? Why? Uh, yeah, you say, oh, yeah, the, well, they got freed and that was God. But why would you why do you think that um, if you believe in a, a a God being, why would he allow somebody to be kidnapped for 10 years and raped uh, against their will? Why wouldn't he do something uh, to stop that, to prevent that? And with that being said, why would um, in anybody for that minute, for so many children still to this day that get raped and molested, why is that allowed? Um, you say, well, that's the devil. That's the devil doing it. So what you're telling me is that the devil has more power to intervene in human actions and cause things to happen, but God doesn't have any power to stop it from happening, that he has to wait on people to stop it from happening. So you're saying that God is passive, that God doesn't care, that God has a passive role in society while the devil has a very aggressive role in society, which I find very disturbing for me, um, which is why I don't really believe in an anthropomorphic God, as in a being that is watching over people and dictating what is going to happen, that's going to punish people for things, that's going to need people to love it. Um, no. Um, if anything, just like I believe, I believe that it is merely just a force and we can use it if we want to. And if we don't, then we don't have to. But I believe if we don't use this God force, this God energy, then we become worse people. Um, but if we do use this God force energy, then we become better people. We become more God like. But this whole idea that that this being is watching over us and caring about us, but yet allows these horrible things to happen to children, um, just bothers me. So for those that are heavy believers, please justify that for me on uh, what you think uh why these things happen to people why would um your god who is a thinking being allow people to be kidnapped for 10 years and raped uh why are children allowed to be molested and this god doesn't seem to intervene while yet there are some people some kids who do get healing or it's discovered there are still kids who never we never find out. There are kids who get murdered and killed in the midst of all this rape and, and uh, molestation. So it doesn't make sense to me how you could believe in a thinking God that would a, a thinking being 
that would allow that to happen. I, however, can believe in a God force like love, a God force, a God energy, that if the further we get away from that energy, the further we decide not to use the creative force in our life uh, to become better, then we become worse people. And the further we get disconnected from nature, the further we get disconnected from being human, then we, we become destructive to our own selves. We become destructive to our fellow man. And that's what I believe. No matter who you are, what religion you are, you have to realize that we're all connected and that we have to love each other. So that's what I believe. So tell me what you believe, because if you don't do it, then who will? Thank you.